Okay, okay. How's it going, everyone? How are you doing? Hopefully, all is well. <clears throat> wow, Kuma, thank you for the sub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Don't know why that didn't go through on the screen thingy, but thank you. Um, I am setting. Oh, 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 you guys are stuck again. I caught on this time faster. Give me a second. Let me just fix that. You were free. Look at that. Free. Free to, to use your words. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring my microphone closer to me. Um. You are indeed free. Hope you guys are well. Um, a lovely amount of viewers here today. That's good. Taro, how's it going, buddy? How are you doing? Did you just redeems and sub only mode? Did not know that was possible. Oh, oh, can I? Well, I have to put it in a sub only mode. I'm. Is it not in that? Wait. Oh, oh, because I am in seven. Oh, oops, sorry, guys. That was my phone. It's so something. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Um, put the phone in vibrate. Let's solve that. Oh, model's going crazy. This is a great start. Very fantastic start, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, actually, yeah, I wanted to do that. That was good, what you did there. I don't, I messed something up. Oh, the troubles of a Twitch human, yeah. It's also the trouble of like, oh, let me stop and not like stream for like a couple of days and, you know, come back to it. Anyhow, how are you guys doing? Hope things have been good. I sound a lot better than I did before. Um, so wicked and excited to sit down and do this. Hopefully I sound clear. Um, my mic isn't going crazy. Um, but yeah, let's... um. Let's like dive into this, huh? Let's uh, let's do that. You guys has you guys have already seen the episode. Most of you, I know the majority of you have already seen the episode, but we have to. You sound like poop. The mic quality is perfect. Place it. Silver begs to differ. Unless poop is good. Um, Tara, you, indeed you are here. Blazing, I'm loving the emojis. Hold up. What happened? Blazing, do you have something? Yeah, you have something you want to tell us, Blazing? Huh? You have something you want to say? I'm going to pause the music. Um, I ain't into that kind of stuff, BB. What stuff? What is the stuff? You had me nervous. There was something that was on screen that wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, I'm pooping. Oh! Sheesh. Share some of that with the chat. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh let's move on. Of course, I have to show the episode. It's ten minutes long. I know most of you have seen it already, but I have to take into account that some people have it and we're doing this for the VOD, so we gotta show the episode. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna mute myself, play the episode. Um and then we're gonna dive into the making of it. Isn't that exciting? You get some exciting emojis in the chat. I don't know what exciting emojis it is. Just give me something good, some good energy. Let's get it going. Okay, Koopa. We're live in three, two. Hey, you rad people, what's up, and welcome back to the Bear Boy Show, where we're hitting you with another banging video from the Bear Cave. And we're coming at you live with your two favorite gaming buds. 
the raddest bear boy around. And I'm... <laughs> but wait, there's more. That's right, we're joined today by another familiar face. You may remember him from last year's first collab video. That's right, I'm talking about the little dude with his head in the clouds. But watch out, cause he ain't sleeping. Can I get a drum roll for our boy? Oh, hi. Sorry about that, I was just uh, tweeting about some development updates. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. But, why don't you share with the class today what it is that you have in development? Maybe a little update or two? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, I'm working on a game called Breeze in the Clouds. It's about a corky who's in a weather world, and he makes friends with the weather and beats up pollution. If you want to hear more about the technical stuff, uh, you can check out the last video we did, or even maybe follow me on social media. Alright, well, the link should be down below, so when you get the chance, make sure you check them out. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, another follower. That's, that's cool. Thanks. Alright, bud. So recently, you accepted my little smash invitation on Twitter. So I hope you brought your A-game and your best sticks this time for another throwdown. Oh, I'm down to play smash anytime. Just, um, chill with the cheating this time. Whoa, take it easy with the C-word there, buddy. Cheating? What do you take me for, Billy Mitchell? You're gonna need to show some proof before you possess some hard claims like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was, but I felt like there were some shenanigans involved. Here, uh, let's check the clip. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, explain this here. What is that? That's not DK's charging animation. So where did that particle come from? So that's why I call shenanigans. No, hacks. No, even worse. Magic. M magic Okay, so the animation thing was a little bit weird and coincidental to the fact that it happened right before I gave that final charge punch, but I'm sure that's all it was. Just a mere coincidence, right Mog? Mm. What's wrong with you? I, uh, I may have given you a little helping hand in that, um, match, Koopo. Dude, what? Mog? I, I used some of my magic to help you out. I, I, I didn't think it would be a big deal, Koopo. Uh, first off, since when could you even do magic like that? Well, my memory is still hazy on when it started, but I remember new magic here and there when it's needed, Koopo. Well, why haven't you told me? Because you never asked, Koopo? Uh, <clears throat> Look, you're off the hook for now, but we're talking about this later. Koopo. Mm. So, there may have been a little divine intervention going on with that last set between us. But this time it's on for real. I promise you, no hocus pocus involved. Man versus man. So to speak. Oh, yeah, funny. Are you done? Yeah, I think it's time we finish this conversation and let these hands start the next one. So, let's get ready to smash the There's no turning back now. Throw down!
can't believe it. Well, there you have it. A fair fight is finally a fair fight. When you're right, my friend, you are right. <laughs> but hey, look, I don't really have like an art prize or anything this time around, so... Hey, that's alright, because I... have this. Whoa, wait a second. Where are you even pulling these things from? I mean, it's not like you have pockets or anything, so did you pull that? Did you pull that out of your... Do you want the pen? Or not. Well, if you're offering. <laughs> That's a nice pen you want, Kubo. Yeah, I guess it is pretty nice, huh? Hmm. Hmm, you know, Maul, do you want to see a little magic trick that I can do? Oh, come on, I want to see, I want to see. <laughs> Alright, well, you might want to close your eyes for a bit, just so the magic doesn't blind you. I'll, uh, tell you when you can open them. There! Okay, open your eyes and take a look at something cool. Go, Bo! KW, you let him have your pen? So long as you promise, no more cheating, alright? I don't think I really deserve the reward for putting up a fair fight. I mean, I owe it to the guy after all this time. Besides, I've got enough nice things in here. Even though that's a really nice bear pin, I think it would look great in your collection. <laughs> So, why not consider it a gift for your honesty today? Oh, Kubo, Kubo, thank you! I promise I won't ever cheat again! Yeah, boy. Good to see you both get along so well. <laughs> of course! Yeah, Kubo! Me and GW make a great team! <laughs> I don't doubt you. You two are pretty good for each other, so hold on to that. <laughs> you got it! Oh, shoot. We're still alive, aren't we? Oh, crap. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, what should we wrap this up? Yeah, it works for me. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode today and for putting up with our goofy answers. And remember, people, you can find Breach's links down below in the description, so make sure to give him a follow and check out his Patreon to support his game, because I know I'll be playing down the road, so hopefully you will too. But before you scurry away like the little fast friends you are, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on the latest Bear Boy. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, you could consider joining my Patreon today. I kind of forget to mention that I have one from time to time, but for a dollar a month, you have access to videos up to a day before they release and it helps me create more things like this. So I've got to give a shout out to all the people below for being a rad supporter. But yeah, I, I feel like I've talked your ears off long enough, right? So thanks again for watching everyone and I hope to see you at the next Spare Boy video. Bye! Bye. Okay, that was exciting. I I almost was tainted there by some crazy stuff with the chat. What's going on? What are you? What's going on? Jetty, how's it going, buddy? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. We are about to dive in now to not this next video that was trying to play there. We're gonna dive into the making of that video let's do that how's about that huh how's about that first before i do that though is i need to turn off that um that should be fine there um yeah that should be fine uh let's go into this folder here i believe this folder has everything that is important if it would like to snap off and come over here Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. My happiest moments in life, one of them is looking at BB's eyes. Thank you, buddy. I'm happy that I can make you happy. Nice weather we're having. <laughs> okay. Jetty, how's it going, buddy? Hi, hi. Okay, so everybody's got their fill of that, right? S saw what was going on there. Let's talk about that fight. That fight was crazy, right? There's actually two versions. Um, there's one where I win, and there's one where Breeze win, wins. Um, I figured it'd be nice if I was gonna do that to have like two versions of the video. I always like having like some type of weird gimmick um, when it comes to my videos if I can, 
Um, and as if doing one fight wasn't enough, I was like, well, I make it where both of us win instead of it just being one or the other. Um, but then I realized just how much hell it was to animate all of that stuff. And so I had to, um, I had to, what is that word? Kind of compromise and just make it where, okay, so the way he wins is it's all based on the ending. Um, it took a little bit of editing, but I, I will get into that in just a moment. JJ, your animations let you have two animations. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you want to make yourself sick, yeah, you get two crazy animations. What's that homework folder right there? Homework folder? You see a homework folder? I don't see a homework folder. Let's not worry about the homework folder. Um, I'm okay, sorry. I was a bit late. I was actually here, just not talking. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's all right. Um, you're here and you're chatting now, and that's what matters. It's great to have you here. Weren't you sick? Did you do animating whilst... No, no. This was um, last year. I was animating before, but I animated so much that I made myself sick. And the music's not playing. Um, I'm going to play that, but very low, so I don't get tired of it. But I don't want it to be just like air. Um, eyes. Arm. <laughs> yeah, the arm will, will do that. Um, oh, oh, that arm. Yeah, I thought she was talking about like, yeah, that was like, that's like the precursor to like my majestic arm just popping off and doing whatever it wants to do. Um, so can we get that arm to open up? That'd be great. Look at that. High quality, the world ends with you styled arm. Isn't that great? Oh no, the model. <laughs> yeah, it lets it do, do its own thing. What's a good software to start digital drawing? When I first tried, I didn't know how to use layers and use the same layer. Um, Photoshop. If you can't afford Photoshop, um, there's other things to use. Um, can somebody else help me with some like other recommendations? Uh, GIMP, I know is one of them. Um, Clip Studio Paint. Um, there's a, there's a bunch of them, um, or at least a good handful. Uh, Me Meaty Bang is that one of them? The Hand of Exodia. I mean Bear Boy. <laughs> That's why I collect all five pieces. Then you can summon Bear Boy, the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh card. IBS X Paint. Mm. Some of these I've never heard. Oh, yes, Procreate. That's another one. If you have an iPad and an Apple Pen. Yeah. Pro and it's free. Okay, free is good. Who in the chat loves free? Because I, I sure love free. Um, enough of that arm. So, yeah. Um, let's look at this real quick this looks like it's something that's fun to look at uh how should i go about doing that though i guess i just play it up oh, but there goes the music wow okay so there's this right um don't use adobe photoshop it sucks ass <laughs> um i so i only use photoshop because that's just what i'm used to using um and learning new things are tough but yeah if you can use something else other than photoshop i'd still recommend it no but i feel like some of the good the good uses of it so far are like text and like other photo manipulation things mm. <coughs> you talking about photoshop hey bb random question have you ever drawn any other art uh style than your own and have you ever drawn uh drew anyone else in your art style I've drawn plenty. Um, in fact, when I do commissions, um, I've drawn um, other other friends. Um, hell, I know I've I've drawn Jetty before. <laughs> um, wow, my hand just started throwing up like gang signs there. I was just trying to scratch my eye. Anyhow, yeah. Um, and as for other art styles, um, yeah, it's something that I play around with every now and then. Um, I don't draw. A bunch of different stuff as much as I would like to especially fan art because I'm so busy always working on something again if it's not like trying to get stream stuff going it's something for the YouTube channel which I am working on something for Halloween that is definitely happening um, 
and then it's the game, the game that I'm working on. So it's like those three big things there. Um, like it's a lot of stuff that's on my plate, um, and I want to draw more, but sometimes I just don't have the time. Love the lad in the BG, just upside down vibing, living his best life. Oh yeah, um, names are escaping me at the moment, but God, why can't I remember his name? For so Pile, his name is Pile, um, and he's great because he's a bear, and I love my bears. He's great. Um, they're all great. Uh, and the plan was to have um, a uh, the background was supposed to be themed after this one background. I didn't save it. So I'm not sure if... Um, let me just try to go here. Let's see if we can find it. Hopefully nothing crazy comes up. This is like always... The, you know what? I'm going to pull this over here just in case. Um, so you never know. Google, like, what could possibly come up? Let's see, I feel like I can find it by going through here. So I can't really find it. Um, yeah, I, I guess I can't find it at the moment. I'm looking like quickly, that is. Oh, well. Um, so, there's that. Um, what was that? If I had a card, uh, I would have spent all my money on commissions. I oh, spent all my money on commissions. Well, whenever oh, there goes that arm that I was talking about, can I have that back? Can I? Can I have that? Th thank you, thank you. Um, whenever you have money, and you're ready, I'm always open for commissions. Give you. Why is everything I've seen so far about you so cute? Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I try my best. Oh no. Non Twitch friendly images. I doubt that they'd come up. It's just I didn't want to take the chance. That's really all that is. But let's get back over here. Also, another question: Have you actually ever drawn not safe work? Because we were talking about some crazy stuff earlier. Okay, <laughs> I can't answer that stuff here. Um, see me in another video, <laughs> and then we'll talk about that stuff. We'll have a specific not safe work stream day. No, I'm joking. We we can't do that on, on Twitch. Um, but um, can't answer. Hello, bad boy. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, it has been a while, my friend Mario. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you here. Fix. <laughs> no need to show. I just wanted to know. Um, I have to plead the fifth. <laughs> um. Let's let's get back to this real quick. Okay. Now, I can't find the background, but this background that I was working on, um, which is here, it's this one here, and it was themed after one of the backgrounds that I saw that was supposed to be for Breeze. Um, and I was like, <laughs> I'm wagging my finger, babe, boy, tsk, tsk, tsk. What? I didn't even say if it was yes or no. You have to just take my word for it. Like, um, you know, gotta take my word for it. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the background. <laughs> this is what it was supposed to be. And I wanted to have a train come by and everything. And I want to have some of the Breeze characters there. Um, these are just his silhouettes. Um, I think I had it masked out because I didn't want people to see what they were. I actually don't know why they masked out like that. Um, but, but yeah, I wanted to do that, but this background just wasn't coming along how I wanted to, like stylistically, I had an idea for it, but I was just like, this is just, this is just not working. Um, so what do I do? I take a background that was supposed to be simple and I make it really, really complex. Um, and before I show that video, I'm going to go back over here and... The final version of the background is not in this area. Wow, that's fancy. Actually, I lied. This is kind of it, but it's missing, like, the pillars in the background. But, like, let's get, like, a look at that. I could have sworn I brought this background over here or the folders for it. But, like, this is how that look. I like the shapes. Wow. Thanks, bud. Um, yeah. Like, I was trying to go with something that was like the world is with you that was kind of just, like, wacky angular shapes 
Um, but I was just like, I just wasn't feeling how it was coming along, so I stopped. Um, and I started throwing this stuff together. Like, that, that shape it stuff so kind of makes its way over here. But it's this background's a lot more complex. This isn't even a final version, but you can see how complex it is. Um, from just from looking at this. What else? What else? What else? So yeah, it's it's layered. So you have the background, like the the sky, and then these buildings, and then this building set here, and then the street, and then this is actually its own thing as well. Um, has an old Tui feel to it. Yeah, that's um. Definitely that field that I was trying to go for there. Um, I still don't know what this thing is in the background. Um, it's like some reactor. But we'll, we'll put pretend that it has some type of plot relevance later on. <laughs> if we have to go there. But yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, this is that foreground in a lot more detail here. So we have that. That's nice. Um, a little little YouTube banner um, and Doctor Bear thing sign. Um, random random sign here. Number thirteen on it. Always gotta have the number thirteen. Very very important number there. Have you thought of making and selling like a tabletop RPG maps? You got good environments. Thanks, but I've actually never really thought about. Um, doing that um i've had friends that have asked me to make like um like play mats for like cards and stuff but never really thought about doing it for like a tabletop um i think if somebody has like a specific request i can look into how to do it and then maybe get it going but like yeah i never gave it too much of a thought but um but yeah this background was like absolute hell to make i won't even lie um the other one was tough with how it was going, but it, this was really complex. Um, and the reason why it was complex, it wasn't even because of like everything with it per se. Um, it was just like trying to quick, quickly plan it out. Um, Bear Rx, can I get some bear scriptions? You sure can. Um, they're very dangerous though, so I wouldn't really recommend it. But I mean, um. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time. Gogafly, Gogafly, Gogafly. I can't. That that's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna call you, Guaga. Thank you, Guaga, for following. I really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's got that early two thousands cartoon urban vibes. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely that. I I really like that look as well. Um, and that's kind of like what I was going for there. Um, but it was like, just like splitting it all up and everything, um, getting the train to operate. Um, let's see, like if we see in the skiff here, maybe not this skiff here, um, like the train actually does come into place and it stops. We saw it in the video. Um, raise your hands if BB's Discord notifications made you check your Discord. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, that's going to be like a constant thing throughout this video <laughs> um but yeah the train the train was also like annoying because it was like oh man like it got to the point where there was so much going on in the video that like the only way i can test things out was like by giving it a full render um which would take like an hour or so just to now that you mentioned the discord stuff i become like so self-aware of it and i just realized how much is going off <laughs> um I didn't even close Discord. I mean, I did close Discord. I don't even have the app open. So that's just like... That's just... Um, Mocha Jake is rating with a party of 13. Jake, buddy, thank you so much. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We are discussing the making of... A video that I worked on last year today is the anniversary of that video and it was a very very tough video to put together I showed it off earlier um, in the start of the stream um, so now we're kind of just like diving into like the making of that but yes everybody come on in grab a seat grab some cookies some milk and enjoy the show 
Jake, how's it going? Laxinus, how are you doing? Infernal Wolves, how's it going? It has been a while. Calamar... Itch... No, Calamarge. Calamarge, right? Thank you for following. I have such a time, tough time reading names. Words are tough. We learned that while playing The World Is With You. It's okay, though. We're going to get through them all together. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the train was tough, really hard to make. Like I said, I had to render the video. That would take like about an hour to uh to put together um, and then wait. And then it's like, okay, so it's doing this, but like I needed to slow down just a bit um, here and start up a bit faster here. And eventually I got that to work, but it was just a series of going back and forth, back and forth um, as everything was building on. And it was a, it was a lot. Um, even like the train sounds, just trying to make things authentic. Also, like making sure this thing here, um, I forgot what this call is called, the guard thingy, making sure like that goes up. Um, I think I sent another gift. Um, let's try to get another gift open. Let's see if it comes up there. Okay, see the train kind of comes and it like slightly. It went up, went up. Can I pause it? I can't pause it. Shame. Um, anyhow, um, I'm assuming you, you, you use a Premiere. No, I was not using Premiere. I was using, this was all done in After Effects. Every single thing was done in After Effects, frame by frame for the entirety of the fight. Um, again, the most hellish task that I ever put myself through. But once I made that promise that I was going to do this, I was like, I, I have to commit. I have to commit. This is Think about it. In the end, it's going to be very big when it's done. People are going to love it, John. Just finish the video, no matter how much of a strain you're putting on yourself. Um, and it came out, and it was liked, but it, it didn't do as big numbers as I would have liked it to do. Um, and, I mean... It, it is what it is. Um, who knows? As I continue to grow, maybe eventually the video will continue to also grow as well. Um, it, it hit a thousand um, um, views, a little bit over a thousand views. So that's good. I'm happy to see that it finally did that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, whoa. I like coughed a little bit and my model like lost its mind. <clears throat> If we believe in ourselves and our friends and other anime tropes, you could defeat the words. <laughs> definitely, definitely need to believe in myself and my friends more than at that point. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Oh, going back to the train, right? Um, getting, like, the sounds. The sounds was, like, really specific. I was like, okay, the green line. I, I, um, I'm, from, I'm from Boston, so I want to have it to have uh, the sound that this green line makes or, or the, what we call the T here. Um, and I had to go on YouTube and find some videos and look through a couple videos and find like the one that had like the decent amount of like, like no sounds when the, when the bell charm, charmed, chimed, um, for the doors to open. I found one video that had like a good enough sound and I got that. Then I had to find sound of like doors opening, doors closing for trains, um, trains coming in, trains leaving, um, and make sure all that stuff was set there and you know, getting all that little stuff that people probably won't even really notice too much while the fight go is going on. Um, but, like, all that little detail stuff, like, that stuff matters a lot to me. Um, and it's, for like, good and bad, it's something that I've just picked up as, like, a thing from admiring Square Enix so much. They They focus on so much little detail, like, how many, like, strands of, like, polygons that it took to make just knock this his hair in Final Fantasy 15 like that little stuff there um Guaga thank you for all for not you've already followed thank you for subscribing buddy thank you very much um what was that um yeah little details right um it's there's so so much like intricate little details that went into making this like another thing that people are probably going to notice is like the sky the skies um the clouds move in the sky uh i uh i want to know if i can find that 
specific one. Um, let me try to find that. Figure out where that is. Um, let's go to the folder for it. Easy breezy. Uh, golly, there's so much stuff. So much. I don't think I'm going to have an easy time finding it. I won't even lie about that. Nope, that is not the right folder either. Um, is it mice? Battle, background. Okay, here's the final background. This is what it looks like. Um, ah, and here's the other folder that I was talking about that had some stuff in it. Let me open back up the chat. Um, that had some things in it. So like, yeah, this is it here. Um, the characters unsilhouetted. This little space, if you see this little like blackish um, border here, um, that was just to let me know like the screen size. The, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> um, the fight would, if that happens again, I'm just gonna have to go and close out of Facebook. Um, the fight would happen in this space and it would move around the screen here. Like, this is as far as it can go. Um, but we're gonna... Yep, that's that's it. All we needed to do was happen a second time. And hopefully, that's the only Facebook tab I have open in my bajillion tabs that I have open. God. Talk about putting my computer through the works, huh? Um, can I get some small background music going it's so quiet bad boy ost let's see if that works mm -hmm -hmm. um I guess I could just play the thing again. Whatever. Um, wow, that was loud. Just let it go through that playlist. Um, anyhow, back to the chat. So, all the tabs. How many tabs? You don't want to know. You do not want to know. <laughs> um, I am a man of many tabs. Let's just say that much. Imagine them being the Android default notification sounds. Which one is that? I don't even remember what it sounds like. Um, I have my, uh, oh, I got a drink. I got a drink. Thanks, buddy. Um, Android is greater than Apple. Very true. Always Android over Apple. Um, yeah, I, um, on my Android, on my Galaxy Note 8, I use the, um, I've had sounds that I brought over from my sidekick like years ago um, and I've been using those so like I just like using those ones so I don't remember what it sounds like anyhow yeah so I was going to draw these characters like I was going to draw them up maybe doing some different animations um, cool pig boy uh, some other characters from from Breeze in the crowd. Nichols pile. More pile. Soto, I believe. I keep getting names. Anyhow, those are those characters. Um and there's a lot of a lot of different references in here. Nothing crazy that I see, but I had some references from like games, um, and just other art that I've seen on Twitter, and like other like background stuff that I like Googled up that I thought that would be really helpful. Uh, the model is kind of trying to bend itself in half. He does that. He does that um, every so often. It's a part of his normal stream routine. It's it's something that we agreed to. It's in the contract. He will stretch his arms when he wants to. He will, there, there it is, there it is. I guess it was time. Um, speak of the devil. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, be careful, it's loud. That sounds like a risk. Yeah, it even says loud notification sound effect. Up, oh, you know, you get one stretch. No, so he's doing both arms this time. Wow. Okay, exercise time is over. <laughs> Unstable. Have a dice. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I, I showed up the background already. These are just a bunch of different references and whatnot. Um, what is in here? Oh, this is just all the different pieces. And these are the different sounds that I was talking about. Um, so here's like the sky itself. Um, he wishes to break free of mortal bindings. Well, he'll break free when I end streaming. He signed up for this contract, so he knows the deal. Yeah, his part of the top of the city and the buildings, the street itself, that guardrail, the rails. Oh, these are guardrails, and that's just guard thingy. I don't know how to describe it. Tell me chapter two was announced for not. It, wait, what? Pixel, you can't just come, come dropping that stuff in here like that. Are you telling me that Delta Room 2 is coming out this Friday? So we're gonna be look it up. I, I I believe you. I um I gotta look into that. Um Toby tweeted it. Toby, you goddamn madman. <laughs> I was hoping for something nice at the end of that stream. Um and you know, looks like I'm altering my stream schedule. So it looks like Aside from just playing um, Flynn and Eastward, um, we'll be playing Deltarune 2 this Friday. So that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Let's get back to some of this stuff. Um, it's a bunch of different references in here. Um, some stuff for the Limit Breaks. Uh, Final Fantasy references are in here. Um, there's something you can't really see too clearly in the, uh, in the fight itself. Fight is going to pop off. Fight is going to be crazy. Montero and Deltarune, my day is going to be busy. <laughs> and the interview, yeah. So I guess I'll be playing like Deltarune like earlier in the day. Um, and then gearing up for the interview. So that's going to happen there. But like, yeah, here's, um, Breeze going into his limit break he kind of just shoots across the space um where's that at let's see let's see i think the limit's here yep so he kind of just like shoots so fast you can't really like see it but like here's the like the effect of it and whatnot um so there's that. What else? What else? What else? Um, hmm. Little Final Fantasy esque window. This music is not like. This is this is Mog's theme, by the way. Um, which hasn't like come up in a video yet, but eventually it will. Let's go with the battle music salute that it's very actiony i'm gonna call off work fuck that <laughs> sometimes you just got it sorry for the interruption no pixel it's okay it's absolutely okay thank you for the heads up um i'm i'm very much excited hell if i was paying attention and realized sooner that it was like the anniversary for Undertale, I would have played Deltarune earlier on stream. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's get into the, the HUD. Um, here's something. This background is from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, this sprite is from another game-like video that I did. Um, and the Breeze sprite... All the Breeze Sprites, except for one that I had to draw myself, um, because the creator didn't have one when he supplied me with supplied me with the sprites. Um, they're all from his game. 
They at least like the early versions that's from his game. Wow, that loop was really short. So I'm just like not. Oh. Give me a second. I'm just gonna go and you know what? I don't know what to do. First Capcom two OST. Boom. Can't go wrong with that while talking about a fighting game, right? Let's do that. Let's just do that. Start from here. Okay. Yeah. So the background was from there. It was just trying to, I was trying to look at it to give me some ideas, get the mood going with like whatever it is that I wanted to do for the background for the game. Um, it also helped me figure out like the HUD itself, which is very fighting game inspired. I'll just say that much. Um, fun fact, I was looking at Guilty Gear. Um, Strive? Stride? The new one. Um, for reference, when I was working on this. And I was going to have the big numbers um, for whenever combos happen. But I ended up not doing it. And actually, the combo numbers never made it into the final video. Um, I just ran out of steam. And I did not feel like going back over and adding the combos in. I was like, I just I want to stop. I want this video done. I want it out. And that was that. So they never made it in. I was going to add it in in like another version of the video that I was going to probably release this year. Maybe for the anniversary itself. Because this video was supposed to happen like last year. I was supposed to spend time talking about the video last year. Um, not so long after I released the fight. And again, I was just so burnt out. I was like, I'm, I'm good. I am okay. I am ready to move on. Um... But yeah, that's that's what that was all about. Um, some of Breeze's sprites from his game, I ended up using these for his icon, and then I got the idea to um, do the same thing for my icons. So these are really small. So it's like the normal icon, the injured, um, and then like. It's getting serious, Icon. Like, things are crazy right now. Gotta, gotta really kick it in the gear if I'm gonna win. Um, so that was that. Again, a lot of little intricate stuff made just for this fight. Um, the little music section thing made um, just because I thought it would be cool so people could see the name of the song for the fight. Um... These things come up, you know, you could maybe repurpose some of those for the stream. Um, I have to see how, <laughs> um, like a key reaction thing. Oh yeah. Um, I just have to see how I would use it. Um, there's a lot of like little things that I'm still looking into doing with the streams. Um, I'm still teaching myself. So who's to say, who knows? Um, I end up recycling a lot of stuff all the time just because I hate wasting things um, so yeah there's that it's time for be able to make assets for a fighting game the assets are there honestly the assets are there I just need somebody to help put it together because I'm not scripting that um, so if anybody knows how to make fighting games or would love to use the sprites to try to get it going if my hand cooperates hit me up <laughs> um, yeah so, like, also something fun to note is, like, in the first video we did, um, back in 2019, it was, like, okay, we did the Smash Brothers, um, game time thing. It was the first time I did game time. First time I had, like, a guest on the show. I think he was the first one. It wasn't Nolan, if I was correct. But, yeah, I was, like, we played Smash, and I wanted to do another video to follow up. And I was, like, okay, we did Smash before, but how could I make this cooler this time? And I just kept thinking on it, kept thinking on it, and I was gonna do Smash again, but like have like maybe some other thing that made Final Fantasy summons come up. I don't know. And it evolved from there into making like a fighting game animation, full fighting game animation with Smash as the special attacks. Um, 
and it was supposed to be just like that but then i realized that like i actually had to have like legitimate other special attacks because we're gonna get into why that is the case you're gonna see why very shortly i was on it once but i need to relearn yeah it's tough coding is not easy could maybe be uh pokemon battle be a good collab setup a uh, pokemon battle could have been good as well hell a pokemon battle would have been a lot easier let me tell you that right now but i was like nope let's do smash everybody loves smash smash is a great talking point um it's good for the analytics um hand please cooperate before i unplug you how to make pokemon battles in rpg maker Ah, so then I know who to reach out to, because that could be, that could be something very helpful for a future video. Um, unequipped hand. I'm I'm about to. Um, these are the smash icons. I just grabbed them online, um, because I didn't want to draw them again. I was at a point where it's like I need these icons, and I don't feel like drawing them. I love little detail, but if I can avoid having to draw them myself, um, any extra work, then I will go ahead and do that. Um, and so that's what this is. And they, they change. There's two different sets of them because, again, there's two different videos. Hand, so help me God. <laughs> um, back scratcher again. <laughs> um, there's two different versions of it because... When we was recording for fights, um, and I was trying to decide on like what to do for the two vi videos, uh, for him winning, and, or me winning for one of them, and him winning for one, I did one of them where instead of him playing um, Lucina, he played K. Rule, and it was like K. Rule versus Pikachu, and he won that one, and I won this one with Cloud. So this is the one that I use for my video. And then for this video, I use <sighs> these hands. I use K. Rule. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, let's move out of the HUD. I think all we need to see there is it's already seen. We've already looked at limit break stuff, music. There's nothing to see there. Um, sprites. Let's look at some of the sprites. Be right back. Okay. Um, so yeah, when I was doing this, I also realized that I needed to make sprites for myself. Wow, the hands just keep doing this thing. I realized I needed to make sprites for myself, and I was like, oh boy. Um, Breeze has a lot of sprites, of which I will not show, um, because I don't think he wants me to show those publicly, so I won't show those public. Um, but I will talk about my sprites. I realized all the spice that Breeze had. And after that, I was like, okay, I have to make something that matches a lot of these for whatever it was that I was going to use. And I used a good amount of Breeze's sprites. Um, he has a lot of attacks and stuff that I didn't use and uh, a secondary form that I ended up not using because it was already hell getting it to work in general. So I was like, no, I'll just use these uh, this certain amount and I'll do this certain amount for myself. Um, and I think I started off with the idol, uh, which looks pretty good, pretty decent. And then I was hyped from there. I was like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and do all these other sprites. And I got some other references to help. Neku's was a great help in getting that going. Um, I had to kind of like piece it together because walking animations are hard. Um, let me tell you, they are, they are tough stuff. Um... This music, the legs just going by themselves. It's, it's kind of funny. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. Looks like I don't have like an earlier version of it. Unless this kind of goes through it. No, it doesn't. So, point is, I got the poles down. I did, started with the legs got that done because that was the hardest thing then I started doing the upper body and it was just like a square shape with the circle going back and forth back and forth getting that down after that it was like let's get the arms going getting that swaying motion going that you know running effect looking and then it was the head 
just a still for the head to get the bobbing down. And then after that, <laughs> it was the hair. Let's get the movement of the hair down. This this little little bounce here and whatnot. I had another one. I kind of just like went through it all. But I guess it's not here anymore. So it is what it is. But this is how the final version looked. And I think it came out really good. For somebody that hadn't animated like a, a walking psycho in a long time, I kind of just sitting down. Wait. Doesn't this do it? Okay, yeah. So you see the, the, the legs here and then the arms getting that going, the head getting that motion going in the final. Yep. Okay. There's that. So that's how that came together. Um, okay, this is all the protect bubble animations. Um, this is all done. It started in Photoshop and then I took it into um, my cat bit my nip. How did your cat bite your nip? How did that just happen? Nice. No, I don't know how nice it was. Did it hurt a lot? What is this? Holy crap. Oh, that was loud. Okay. Why is an episode tucked away in this folder? That is a gig. And it's only eight seconds. What the hell is that? I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'll come back to that later. Kitty want milk. Oh, we got us a lot of bubbles. Yeah. Um, it's each of the frames of the bubble broken down. The bu the bubble itself, like the animation for it. Um, stream here. Here's what it looks like. Um. So again, like. The bubble itself, like the base of it was drawn up in Photoshop, taken into After Effects, and then the animation of it happened there, and then I saved it out, um, and kind of brought it back into After Effects after doing the animations for it. So that was that there. Um, let's go back into uh, Battle. It was in Sprites. Um, this is just Impact Effects what that stuff looks like think 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 oh these are references to help these references help like get like the um uh to get the uh the what's the names going the effect going it didn't load up so it, it is what it is um so this is all the stuff for me um here's the bat by itself trusty bat magical bat nobody knows where it comes from it just kind of comes comes and goes jump sprite land sprite when he's landing down on the ground looks like he's kind of running backwards what else what else what else ah blocking Part of the idol. It's not moving anymore. It's weird. Ah. Um. Injured. Um. Squat. I think this one came up before, like, super jumps came off. Uh, popped off, rather. And. A nappy nap. That's what we will call this. He's just taking a nappy nap. Um, wasted. <laughs> this is the final attack. Well, it was like an airstrike. A very dramatic nappy nap. He's got that shadow. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about my, uh, all about my drama. So this is like the final move that he did. This 
sky strike move um, to the moon. That's what I called it. Spin attack. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What else, what else? He looks so stressful while spinning. Do you, you saw how fast he was spinning? And how hectic that fight was? Need I go back to the gifts? Did you, did you not see what was going on? Where is it? It's going on here? This dog is is no joke. Clover, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Oh god, oh jeez, where am I? <laughs> Haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, I've been streaming too much lately, but I was like, I'm gonna get on today and I'm gonna stream. Probably gonna stream tomorrow. I will be streaming Friday and next week as well. So that will be going on. Um Yeah. This dog's no joke. Okay. Um Let's get back over here. So this was fun. Um, no joke, you say. Not a no, no joke at all. This was kind of tough to make because I was like trying to figure out how they make it look like pretty decent. Better, better, better. <laughs> um, yep, that's exactly what's going on there. And then the sound effect that I used there. Um, is it in battle? sound effects we'll see if it's here there's a lot of like smash sound effects I had smash sound effects Marvel vs. Capcom 2 melee um, and then I had somebody on um, record lines I paid somebody to do like the announcer lines for like um, like uh, bear boy wins or breeze wins um, awesome engage flashy nice uh, and this is stuff like, let's see if I play it how loud, hopefully it's not too loud. Awesome! Yeah, that's how that sound. Flashy. Nice. And again, um, what is this one? No, not that one. Oh. Ready? There's no turning back now. Throw down! Yeah, um... That stuff never made it into the video. Because, again, like how I said I cut the um the combo keepers, I also ended up cutting like um that stuff as well. Um so like when I, Breeze ended up bringing me up to the sky, slamming me down, that would have been one instance where it would have been like oh like flashy, uh, awesome or whatever. But again, it was like going back and adding that stuff in. I was just like I I can't. At some point, I'll probably do a video where I, I add it in. Um, even the numbers, because it won't be too hard to do um, at a later date. I'm just, I've still got other stuff to do, and I want to focus on that. Um, I like playing 2D fighting games with stupid combos. And by stupid, I mean you find ways to break the game with air juggles, keeping them with, the, oh, uh, what is that? Um, Castle Crashes was a little like that. Sorry, I used to be super into fighting games back then. Oh, you, you said fighting games, but like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Those are fun to look at in action and fun to do. Not fun when you're on the opposite and having to deal with it, though. Definitely not. But, yeah, I, I love seeing that stuff happening as well. Um, it's not something that I'm particularly good at popping off myself, but I will show why that happened. You, you guys are going to see why that ended up happening um, for Breeze. Um... Skullgirls, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, Ultimate Marvel. Yeah, the good stuff. What's this? This is just the movement. You guys have already seen the movement. Um, punch effect. Um, go punchy, punchy, heavy bat. Ah, it's like, yeah, it's like an uppercut thing. Oh, I forgot Melty Blood. That sounds familiar. Can't remember what that is. Heavy Bat Down. I love that face there. 
I never really go back and look at these sprites. It's crazy how much like effort I put into them and I barely look back on them. So it's fun to get to kind of come back and do that with you guys here. Dive kick. It's like a part of the um part of the apex of the jump. Switches to the kick itself. Huh. It was a bit of a blur on the kick um, in the fight, so that face isn't exactly as clear. Forward thrust. What's this one? Oh, the bat toss itself. Just kind of disappears. I had to separate it um, itself. Otherwise, I would have to make the animation for the bat going, 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 going. Um, which I kind of had to do in After Effects um, to get the spin down and the distance of it so it could disappear at the end of it. Um, so it would always travel far and go off screen. It would never disappear. Like if it ever hit a shield, it would just go right through the shield. Um, it wouldn't make contact, but it would always be long enough to the point where it was like, it went, went from one end where it spawned from all the way off screen. Um, until it finishes animation, but that's that's the sprites there. Some of the sketch work. Um, I don't remember if this was actually like using the end, this one here, but I was trying to get the movement down. Um, and that might have been before I had Neku to kind of like help reference. What else, what else, what else? What is this? Is this the animation itself? Yep. Okay. Welcome back, buddy. Um, we were just looking at a bunch of the, the sprites. Just kind of wrapped up that section. Um, yeah, so this is how that looks with the bullet. And the kind of like wind look with the stardust on it. Just because um, I love myself some stardust. But this is stuff like, you wouldn't get to see this in the video. Because it happens so fast, and I think I have a motion blur on it, so you don't really see how it looks um, when it's in action. But there's like, there's just so much going on. Some dust particles. Originally, I had it where um, when they ran, um, they'd pick up dust depending upon the direction that they was running. This is a wave. Just um, whenever a character um. Got like slammed down. This would spread out around them. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? That was just Neku. The victory screen. Um, isn't this Yonare Dev? I forgot. I did this for the meme, and I can't even remember who it is anymore. But <laughs> I think it's Yonare Dev, if I'm correct. Um, yeah. This is uh, one of Breeze's sprites that I did for the... Well, I didn't draw this one. Um, but this is for the victory screen. Um, I drew this one for his loss because he didn't have a loss icon. Um, neither, neither did I, so I had to do these two up. Um, this is just my usual marketable self. Isn't it adorable? Um... What else, what else, what else, what else? Let's see, let's see. We've gone through sprites. We've gone through the backgrounds. That's a lot of stuff there, right? Um, gosh, gosh, gosh. My internet cuts off and I come back to Yonare Dev. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was right. It was Yonare Dev. I was like, who's this guy again? Who is this? Um, but something told me that's who it was. <sighs> I'm sorry. Um... Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Let's go back to stream. Okay. Let's look at this video here. Pause that real quick. Open this. What's happening here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, so it was like frozen. Okay. See that in the background? See all that stuff that's going on there? This is before my sprites was done. This is the rough of it. 
the carry. Okay. Um, that's very important there. If my body is found dead in a distant way, it's Johnny Ray Depp. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is he that dangerous? Um, let's let's play that back. So you see that in the background, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Also, you can see the little dust particles. That's another thing. Aside from the dust that was cut, um, shadows. There was shadows beneath the characters. I ended up cutting that um, because it was, again, same excuse. It was too much to go and make sure that the shadows was there, placing them in the space. And I was just like, nope, I'm taking the shadows away. People won't really notice. The area is kind of dark in itself. It's kind of like afternoonish, so you won't really see the shadows that much. It's okay. No shadows. Um, and a lot of what's going on here, right? Um, we're gonna get into that. Um, I have the full video of this of the I think the final fight along with this, but it's not like they're, they're side by side. They're not overlapped. Um, but like. I had to do this fight up um, by, I didn't like hand animate everything like from scratch. Like I did, but the idea itself came from like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> and I played it and I played just like a couple rounds and I grabbed the round that I liked the most that I thought would work. And I use that as the uh, background reference to get everything going. In my mind, beginning like in the beginning, I was like, this is a great idea. This is how this is going to work. Nothing wrong there, right? Um, but I didn't realize how like technical all of this was going to get until like, I really started getting into like the deep of it. And I was like, I can't turn it back now. I'm really in, in, in this moment now, and I have to do this. I have to finish what I started. Um, so that was going on there. Um, put the music back on. <clears throat> but it was like, oh man. So I realized a couple of different things. One, the background space had to be the same amount of a space as like a map in um, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's one thing. Second of all, the screen space had to work with like being the same size or at least close to the same size. Um, the characters was also smaller. The characters are like practically little people in comparison to the Marvel vs. Capcom characters, um, which came with its own number of problems. Um, spacing, spacing um, was very tough because look how close um, Hayato is to Cyclops. And then look how close I am to Breeze over here. Yeah. I have a little question for you. I have an answer. What's your question, buddy? Um, I'm going to pull this back. Mind you, they kind of start off the same. Well, I started pushing all over faster in um, Marvel vs. Capcom sooner than I started doing it here. But I had him push off. Um, he gets closer, um, and he kind of just walks back to simulate like, oh, you know, it's it feels like a controller. I wanted this to feel authentic. I wanted people to look at this and not be able to tell that this was an animation and question if it's an animation or if it's a game. Like, is this really a game? What is this? I want to play this game, you know. So that's what I was going for there. Um, and it feels real. Um, right off the bat. No pun intended. Um, oh, you got hands now? Yeah. Well, you mean like these hands or fighting game hands? I always had hands. We just haven't seen them yet because the story hasn't gotten that far yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so immediately... I know what I said. <laughs> um... I'm off to attacking. I'm attacking Cyclops in that video. He's blocking, and because of that, he gets pushed back some, right? So that's what happens here. Cyclops got knocked back some. Breeze gets knocked back some from the blocking. Um, and I had to find a way to clear that distance. So like he keeps, he had attacked. Um, wait a second. Ah, 
Because he had hit him and he was so far away, I had to find some way to make this next attack connect. So I had him hit him with a like a forward thrust just to push him back and then space myself a bit over here and then try to go in for something else and then that missed and then I try to run away and I try to jump he goes in for a hit even though Cyclops doesn't hit it just felt more authentic that he would go for an attack and miss I jump behind him trying to get um, the high ground or a better advantage I um I do go for an attack. And something else that also happens in Marvel vs. Capcom, this was my, my problem, where I shouldn't have played Marvel vs. Capcom. I should have played something more like, um, what is this music? Um, oh, that was all of the music? No way. I'll go, I'll go back. Um, to the air stage. Um, what was I saying? I should have played like Street Fighter or something like that. Because Marvel vs. Capcom works off of three characters, right? Um, and I didn't realize, like, how much longer that made this fight. This fight ended on, like, 13 seconds, I think. Um, but, like, I didn't realize that it would make this battle, like, increasingly longer than it needed to be. Um, and that also came with, like, its own soup of problems. Because I switched characters and the CPU lost characters but with each new character now that came its own set of like different attacks and ranges I went from playing with the sword character a melee character to a range character once um, Hyrto was gone um, and I was playing as Cable so that meant I was at more of a distance with trying to do certain things we're gonna see that um, let me just see what Mario said you're interested in playing Sonic Colors Ultimate or does it not attract your attention? Or do you feel that you're going to... Oh, um, actually, it's funny that you asked that question. I have Sonic Colors Ultimate here. Um, maybe I'll play that. Maybe I'll start that after the stream. Um, I don't mind. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Um, but I do want to play that. My friend let me borrow the game. I will be playing that game. But yeah, um, spacing. Spacing became a big issue. We're trying to make sure I got everything going. Um, so go for the hit. He missed. I jump behind him. Go for an attack. That worked there. Um, he called out Wolverine. And I think Wolverine also got hit. You had one job, Sega. All you have to do is make Sonic Mania 2. I'm still waiting for that one. I would buy that one in a heartbeat. Um, so I'm, I'm punching. Um, the punches work. Um, and it spaces out. He gets over here now. So I, that means that I need to do something to kind of space these two. Um, but also follow up with the hit. Because I go for another hit. And I miss? Question mark? Okay, so I... It looks like I hit him, but he got out of it. Maybe he, like, um, recovered. And then he went for a, a super jump. And he jumped behind me, and I jumped over to him, and he guarded, and he hit me on the come down, on the combo, and this is what it was. Because Cyclops ended up pulling off this combo, I had to do this, but it became like a really good like hype start for the video. Like, after seeing it, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. Um, I have to pause the music, because like the music that I played with it, like, just the attack and then like the pickup and the slam was really good. Wow, that's really loud. Um, punch, punch. Look at that. The slam, which Cyclops does as well. Goes for the slam and I push myself and it went really far. It didn't really go that far for Cyclops and Hyrto, but I had to make it really far just to kind of like position because um, the main thing was making sure that like the position of the screen was as much like the like the reference as much as I could get it. Um, so when characters are moving and whatnot in Marvel, um, it's working the same um, as much as I can get it in my video. Um, so that's what happened. So I get slammed down there. Hyatt so gets slammed down close to that point as well. Um, I get up. 
Cyclops rushes me in. Um, he goes for a trip, and I think Breeze does a similar thing. Yep. Oh. That wasn't even the end of it. Oh. Yes, it was. Okay, so he goes for a trip. Uh, Breeze goes for a trip as well. He hits me. Um, and there's that. Um, we're going to jump into the other video in just a moment. Um, did I forget anything up here? This is just like what it looks like inside of After Effects. All the stuff there. This is still early on because the new background's not there. But like, it was a lot, a lot, a lot of like layers. And layers, and layers, and layers, and layers. Um, I, I pushed the ever-living hell out of After Effects to get that video um, going. But it worked out. It worked out. Um, did it make you cry like an onion? Um, when I was working on it, um, I didn't cry, but boy, did I get headaches. Like, um, that's what I was talking about where like after working on the video, like I definitely made myself like physically sick. Um, cause this looks like it would make me cry. Yeah. Trying to manage all that stuff. Like once you realize like, okay, I'm in it and like, I have to commit to it now. Like you realize that you just got to do it. Got to do what you got, what you promise if you can. Um, and I was committed to see it through because I was thinking about the end results um, being worth it in the end. And that's what kind of really kept me going. Other than just being like a good fight, a good video. That's what, what my goal was. I was like, I want to do this good. This is going to, people are going to love this. Let's do our best. Did you have a computer in the freezer? Uh, no, I, I, I didn't upgrade my computer for this one but i think i almost debated on getting like some new stuff because like it started to lag like once it came down to the whole render stuff i was like oh my god this is not good um the way i have to go about rendering things like it's taken like an hour just to test things at this point like i couldn't like live te test things i had to literally like skim the the thing to skim this thing the timeline turn the quality down the, to a quarter um, and just work like that. And it was just, it was tough. Um, but yeah, like I, 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 it became like, if I was even thinking about animating anything after that, for like the longest time, it would just like, I, my head would just like hurt. Um, and I still like try to avoid having to do any crazy like animations now, um, because of that, um, so, like, I know what it's like to, like, put someone through crunch. And I know what it's like to go through crunch because of that. Um, because of doing it to myself. Bad Boy vs. Breezy Part 3? No. <laughs> um, no, in the sense, like, if it was to happen, it wouldn't happen like this. Uh, yes, in the sense that, like, I'm always interested in, like, working with people. And working with people that I've already worked with. And, like, like his sprites are done. That was one of the biggest things there as to why I didn't mind doing a second video is because he, I literally did his sprites up the first time and I was like, I could make us another video. Why not? Um, you know, so that was, there was that. Young Jack, how's it going? I, I, I didn't even realize that was you that had said that. How are you doing, buddy? Hope all has been well um, since the last stream that I did. Yeah, but like... And mind you, like, this was, like, editing, um, editing this fight was within that other, like, within the the main episode itself. Um, but I think it was just within the space that things was, like, really slow. Like, the video did get slow to edit at some point, but, like, yeah. Just finished up orientation today. Oh, nice, nice. Hopefully it went well. Um, this is... Some of me doing the work on Photoshop. Um, and when I was streaming on YouTube, that's what all this is over here. Um, yeah. Um, and me working on all the sprites. As you can see, there's Zan uh, to the moon, left punch, right punch. Uh, hurt. This is exactly what's going on here. Oh, that was just a power nap. I lied. Delta Moon Chapter 2 just got announced. Yes, um, Pixel was telling me about it um, uh, like not too long ago. 
um, and I'm excited. So we will be on streaming that Friday. That is going to be exciting. Um, very, very, very excited to to delve into that. Um, I don't know if there's a trailer for it or whatnot. I kind of want to watch a trailer, but I also kind of want to avoid it just to jump in. Um, kind of like spoiler free. It's not too often that I do that or I have the chance to like kind of hold myself back. But like with it coming out so soon, I figure I might as well not look into it. But Twitter's going to make sure I see it. So it is what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and look at... Um, let's look at this. So this is the fight next to um, no Marvel vs. Capcom. Throw down. So I won't really like pause as much. Um, I'll let you guys see like how it kind of like looks next, like side by side. It kind of will just like point off certain things there. Um, okay, so I lied. I said I wasn't gonna pause. Um, I just wanted to see that effect there, not the smash effect. So why did I do the Zern? Okay, so I guess he hit him and he like flew back. Um, but I hit him with like um, this move that's from Final Fantasy Type Zero, uh, which is a break sight. Um, the sound effects is even from there. I had I had to literally go um, open up the game in the PSP um, and play that version. Go and I think turn the music down to zero. Go and find an enemy to fight. Um, <clears throat> in the beginning of the game, wait for it to try to hit me, do whatever it was needed to dodge, get the sound effect as clear as I could, come back with that footage, and edit that in each time I needed to do that. Um, so, that was that there. Um, and, God, that hit is just powerful. I liked your last Breeze X uh, Bear Boy video. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty much just this one. Um, it was better, certainly better than the first one, like, like a long mile. Um, but I, I learned a lot of stuff like within a year and there's a lot of things I've learned now as well. So who knows what's going to happen when I come back with the show. So yeah, um, this is why I kind of like, I, I cut and I went in to do this, the smash, um, stuff. So the real, real way that this all works is I'm just like, um, we're playing Smash, and like, the fighting that me and Breeze do, it like, it takes place in like, the mental game. It's not actual, actually like us fighting. It's just like all in the mental game of us going back and forth at it, and the actual like, what's going on is in Smash itself. Um, so that's really that. The slam, the door opening in the back. Finally see the limit break that happened. So limit breaks came about um, because... <laughs> limit breaks came about because of that. I forgot about the special effects themselves. Like, well, not the special effects, like the, the um, supers themselves. So I was like, oh man. These are happening. What am I going to do for them? Well, limit breaks. I guess limit breaks are happening. And so that's what it was. Um, I got this like cool like effect. I had something like this going on at first. And I was like, no, I want to do something cooler than that. Um, I think something else had inspired me. Oh, it was Kingdom Hearts 2 that kind of inspired me for this some way, somehow with the clouds. But um, And then like the Final Fantasy screen glass shatter. So there's that. Um... Yeah. Um, then we go into breezes, shoots up. Um, so this one happened because some of these happened also because I was, I'll be honest, I was lazy. I didn't want to keep animating some of this stuff. And the limit breaks gave me like a couple seconds to kind of breathe 
Um, but then after that, it was about getting things right, right back in the same space. Um, so that's what's going on here. Um, but we go, oh, we go into another lemon break. <laughs> so again, wanted to breathe while also making it feel like legit. Yeah, I love playing as Pikachu, but like, um, oh, also something fun to note is the little icons for like who's playing as who. I added that in there. Um, nice little touch. The point is, I love playing as Pikachu. I suck recovering with them. Um, don't take note of that. So whenever we play Smash and I go and play Pikachu, you try to like do some crazy stuff to me. Um, because I'll learn, but I just suck at recovering with them. Take note of that. No, don't take note of that. <laughs> My special friends are Ness and Lucas. Ness and Lucas are fun, but like Pikachu, like they're the one characters that I suck at recovering with them. Like Pikachu, I have a better time recovering with them than um, Ness and Lucas. And I think a lot of that attributes to the fact that, like I don't, I don't main main Pikachu. Like I main main Banjo and Kazooie. So my problem as a counter there is when I go and play anybody else other than Banjo and Kazooie, I forget that I don't have as many jumps. Um, or recovery options as I do with um, Banjo. Um, so I'll, I'll do something or I'll go off stage and say, oh man, I can't do that. Um, I forgot who I was playing as. Um, or I'll try to like side B and, and something totally different. And it's like, oh, well, I killed myself. As an Earthbound main, my life is always at risk. Poor thing. Poor thing. When you play Villager and make people suffer for fun, that's just evil. Those characters are evil. Villager and um and uh Isabel are evil. But Tom Nook's a great guy. Definitely great guy. I would give Tom Nook all my money. My friend logged online and I was like, ah, oh. well, that's in the footage. Can't really do much about that. I could have censored it out, but I was like, ah, it is what it is. I like that thunder strike on beat. My friends always like say, oh man, he like ran into that one. And I'm like, huh? Oh, I, I didn't necessarily run into that one. It was just like a tough battle. And I was like, oh man, like I just wanted it to be done. It doesn't mean like I wanted to kill myself, but like, can I say that? It doesn't mean that I went into like SD, <laughs> but I was trying to go in for something. And I think I was also dealing with lag and I kind of just like ran in there. I didn't even ran in there, I walked in it, walked in there to my death, like, just took two steps and that was it. Erased. Whew, an aerial. Um, and it's funny, if we look on the come out, um, I've kind of switched places. It's, it's Wolverine here and Hayato here. And now like, um, well he's just kind of suspended in the air, and I go for a super jump into a <laughs> is that a super jump Boop. <laughs> wow that's funny um so just a good old love tap um yeah and that sent them flying so i think at some point like i do switch places back but right now like i'm wolverine going up against high so go for a jump um, what is going on? So he hits me back and it sends me back a bit. He jumps. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Oh, I went back too far. Okay, whatever. Uh, hits. So, the land there, him jumping, he. Switch places like that. It worked enough. Bonked, breezed. <laughs> yeah, I should gift that. Um, okay, let's keep going. So, kind of just in place. I'm going after him. And I go for an attack because I switch characters. And that comes out. Flies a bit. 
I do some weird thing. Um, and missed. Oh, but I hit him there. Um, hmm. Did it happen in the other one? Go for another bat. Another lazy limit break. Oh, Hulk's here. Am I Hulk? I'm Hulk. Okay. So this is where things also got difficult. It was like, oh man, Hulk's like huge. And there's like, he's got some range on his stuff. Okay, so it looks like we've switched places again. Took out Wolverine. Okay, here's the last fight. The lag was not either of our friends. Um, also, he lost a lot of health. Um, but, like, something else that was the case that I noticed, um, I was like, wow. Like, um, the HP differences. Um, w when we was dealing damage, it was hard to calculate, so I was guesstimating it. And by the time we got down to the end, like, it would look like we was barely doing anything. Like, look how much HP I have left. Um, and I wanted this to kind of, like, end close. Um, so we just started like throwing blows at each other, um, that like hurt and you're going to see like how heavy we hit each other. Bear boy saved the best for last. The best, which one? Sorry, Wedge hopping off. Hope helping out a small stream. Oh, okay. Um, hope well, close well with that streamer. Um, thank you for coming by buddy. Uh, it's been fun having you here. Give them a bear boy hello for me. Breeze is banned. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Cloud, of course. Oh, oh, save it. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I was like, the Final Fantasy guy. I gotta, I gotta have some type of um, some type of Final Fantasy like, you know, nod here. Um, so that's what that was. Um. My best is definitely Banjo. Um, I just had to play Cloud one time at least. Um, so yeah, we're back here. He lost a lot of health from that. Like, a lot, a lot. Huh. Interesting. Um, so he goes for a dive kick. Missed. I go for a forward thrust. He blocks. Off again. Toss, bat toss. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. Bat toss. Dive kick. Super jump. To slam. Okay. It's like neck and neck at this point. We definitely have about the same amount of health. What could possibly happen? Go for... A random attack because that's what Cyclops did. Also, if we look again, I switched characters again. Um, it didn't even matter here. Honestly, it barely mattered what was going on in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. At this point, it was just like, I'm just going to just freestyle these last few seconds. Um, he goes for a rapid attack in the corner. I block. He jumps over the bat toss or short hops over. It looks like blocks. Double block. Gets out of there. And... Finish. And then we got the Kingdom Hearts. Okay. And that's that. 
that was that. Um, yeah. And so, that's how that video came together. A lot of referencing, um, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and frame by frame by frame by frame for the entirety of the fight. Back and forth, back and forth. Get the background done. Back and forth. Get the characters going. Have Breeze do this. Have me do this. Have Breeze do this. Have me do this. Have this effect here. Have that effect here. Yeah, it was crazy. Did an awesome job. Did it. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, like, it's definitely a video I really, really would love for more people to see. Um, I don't like to be obnoxious with, like, sharing it about too much. Um, but it's it's the the one video I am the most proudest of working on um, because of how technical it is. And this is the thing with, like, a lot of videos and a lot of, like, you know, cartoons, animation, games, like, movies. People don't really realize a lot of, like, the technical work that goes into it. People know that there's technical work, but, like, how much of it is, like, just, like, so painstaking. And, well, here it is. There's a lot more that, like, of course, I'm not, I don't have to, like, show you guys at the moment. And you kind of just have to take my word for it. Um... But like, like I said, the amount of layers that it took to get that video going. And then it was like layers within layers and layers within those layers. Like, it was a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I finished it in the end. Um, what's something that I didn't talk about? Oh, something I didn't talk about was at the end of the video, um, I got this uh, breeze pin. Uh, for the character Pyle. Um, and this is a real pin, by the way. This is a real life pin that he had a, ran a Kickstarter for to help raise money for the game. Um, and I have this pin here. And I use this pin in my um, in the videos now. After this video, um, after winning it, this pin goes up on the uh, like the side of. Let's see. Let me go back. Let's see if I can find. Um, God, why are you acting like this? Okay, I know why it's doing that, because I brought this here. Give me a second. Episode. Let's just go with, um... Not this one. God. Where's it at? Um. Let's go with this video. Shots. Um, here, um, hey, what if for everyone, if you won a Smash contest and you got to choose a Square Enix character from any game, who would you pick? I'd pick Neku. Um, if I can have Sora without that worrying about the hassle from Disney stuff, I'd take Sora, but I'd pick Neku. Easily hands down Neku, um, without a doubt. Sora's cool, but there's so much stuff that Neku is capable of and it is such an underrated series that I feel like it just having Neku's inclusion in Smash would give the world ends with you such a boost and um and um you know in this reputation but yeah the pile pin it's here after winning it it's here the Kingdom Hearts thing is here because I did the video with um uh Hands Tetsuya Nomura. Um, so that's why that's there. Um, continuity is very big. So I'm trying to keep that into place. Um, and that's one of the ways to show that that episode did in fact happen. FFA deserves more love. FFA does deserve more love. I still have to get back to playing those games. But yeah, um, is this the gift itself? 
Yep. Okay. So that's how this pin looks. It does the shine thingy as well. Um, and I really wanted this pin to look pin like. So the way I did it is um. I had to take the other image and draw that uh, or trace it. I'm not gonna take credit for because I obviously I didn't come up with it, but I traced it um, so I can get the line art, got the line art, got the flat colors, and I separated it. And so I have this. Um, I believe it's called a a glint, and I have that like that shimmer, and it like it goes from here down, gleams over. Um, that's what it does there, and it really makes it look like it's um. It's like. Is it bezeled? embezzled um, it makes it look like a pen and it's shining in the light and that's cool and that's what I was going for um, before sealing it with my arm <laughs> but um but honestly yeah I I think that's it um I think in like seven minutes I wouldn't mind answering some questions before we switch over to like whatever's the next thing. So do you guys have any questions at all um, about the video? Any questions at all? Um, I mean, obviously keep them tame, but ask away. I definitely don't mind answering. Um, now wait, I'll wait with a broken neck. No, I'll put some music back on. Um. I was just testing the um the thing there and then the time it looks like that's what's going on here This looks a lot longer. This is a lot longer. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, you did an amazing job with it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I just like listening about video production. Yeah, honestly, like when it comes to making art, whether it be like you know it's regular drawings or whatnot, um, video productions, how a movie's made, how a game is made, um, even sometimes how it's like a song is made, um, like. I love listening to like how much intricacies go into making something finalized. Um, Cause when you look at it, you might not you you get the the final vision of it, right, or version of it. But 
you also miss out on what it took to get there. Um, you can't just hear that. You can't just see that. You can't just imagine that. So hearing it from like the horse's mouth is great. Um, when people have the time to do that stuff. It's in this folder. There's a lot of stuff here. In here, um, it looks like. Kind of like the same thing, it looks like. Yeah, just the end of that fight there. And this is something I posted on Patreon. September 1st draft. I think also this video was something that I worked on for like two months. Like, it was like a really like... It wasn't too much of a long time. But considering all the work needed for this video, this video should have taken a lot longer than it actually did. Um, I don't know why these are still here, these speed lines. Oh wow. So this looks like this could be the whole video, if I'm correct. Like without the um the background edits, um and everything, the final sprites. Cause I definitely remember working with like the rough draft first for a lot of the stuff, and then like jumping into um doing that final stuff like this looks like it's the whole thing oh what was that that was a bug okay um oh yeah raising the backgrounds themselves Oh uh, yeah, this is pretty much the whole fight before like a lot of the other immense edits that went into it. Um, that's cool to see. Very cool to see there. And so I don't remember when I started, but like I pretty much had that part done by September 1st. Um, Screen Enix, Bad Boy is ready to be draft to your team. If only, if only. Square Enix needs to pick me up. I'm ready to be drafted to their team. What the hell is this? What is this? This looks like something else I was probably supposed to cut. Like delete. It's not doing anything, so I can't really tell. Nothing's in this folder. Twitter ad. I know what that is. Um, and yeah, that's that's really it. That's it there. Um, God, how should I go about doing this? I am going to end the stream, and I'm gonna start it back up. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to start it back up. I'm going to make it seem like I'm ending it off. Uh, for the sake of just being able to take the video, exporting, and putting it on YouTube. Uh, without having to worry about cutting it all up. So, let me just do that. Thank you everybody for watching. It's been fun. I hope you got a lot out of this um, lovely demonstration video. Demonstration. Um, breakdown video of like all the work it took to make that animation um it'd be helpful if you can follow me over on twitch for more streams and crazy hand tricks um subscribe on youtube and you know just whoa you know veer off to the side like that no i'm joking It'd be helpful if you guys could share that um, that video around. I, I, pu I put a lot of work into that video. Um, and it'd be nice to see it um, really kind of like grow more and more people 
good to see it. Um, that's that's really it there. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next official Bear Boy video. But until then, take care. Later.